Hello everybody, today we're going to draw Bane from the Gotham, from the Gotham Batman series that is being broadcast on television. I think it's in its final season. So Bane was one of the main characters and that was uh, one of the main antagonists. So although this version is not my favorite, but uh, I was really taken aback by the image that was uh, online and I decided to just give a quick crack at it because the contrast of the features of the face in the sense of that uh, the, the face mask and the eyes and the forehead and the hair were somewhat striking in my opinion so I thought that why not even do this version in a quick sketch The original Bane from the comics was created by Chuck Dixon and the great Dennis O'Neill and there were, I, I know that there were another handful of writers who collaborated to create this essential antagonist against Batman who was actually, instead of the Joker being billed as the anti-Batman, Bane was the, the true anti-Batman, a character who could also physically match Batman, who could physically plan and match wits with the Dark Knight. So he had a very impactful story in the comics and he also had a very impactful outing in the Dark Knight movie series, which was also incidentally not one of my favorite Bane versions. I still, I know that the comic version is very hard to reproduce, but Again, it is a very imposing, very effective, and almost unbeatable version of this enemy of Batman, who in my opinion is actually probably the most imposing enemy because he can also match Batman pound for pound and punch for punch. So we just finish off and when we finished off with all the necessary framework we just go on and put in the essential tones and fills and of course this mask I'm doing it from memory it is not necessarily the exact mask but I know that I have most of the components in place such as the breathing and speaking piece the ear piece and the gear around the which is strapped on top of the head and some of the uh, elements that go on the throat area right below his chin. I'm not necessarily a fan of this, uh, too much uh, of this uh, tech going on on his face because in the comics, all that he really had was the mask and the venom tube and that also was discarded for quite a while in most of his, uh, for most of his storyline and because he was more than a physical match even without the venom with the venom he was an overly uh, powered uh, villain that batman could not necessarily handle in each and every uh, fight that broke out between these two uh, characters so thank you very much for watching please do subscribe keep in touch have yourself a wonderful day